Hey YouTube, XBMC Nut here again. Just wanted to show you uh, how to install and configure SSH on HASIO. This is part three. Um, there may be more depending on what I find. But um, yeah, I'll show you how to do that and how to use PuttyGen to um, create the key. So we're going to go into the shopping cart and we're going to go down to SSH server, click on that and install it. It doesn't take too long. But uh, we'll wait and see. While that is ticking away, I will get Putty Gen open there and just come back. Maybe we might as well go. We'll wait while that's installing. We might as well generate a key. So you just open Putty Gen, which gets installed with Putty, and you just generate. And all you do is just wiggle your mouse around in this blank area for a while. The more you wiggle, the more secure the key is. And just keep wiggling around and around and around. And I haven't changed any of the defaults on this. So, okay, there is my key. Now, what you can do, so my server has started there, is you can save the public key. And I need to figure out where to put that. Um... Right, we'll try that again. I just had to find where I put the uh, the key. So if we go into downloads, I've created a folder called SSH. So we're going to call this one um, public key, and we're going to call it three. And I'm not giving it an, an extension for good reason. And then I'm going to save the private key. And I haven't given it a passphrase because I want to be able to log in. Um, it's, it's inside my network. So I want to be able to log in uh, to this uh, Raspberry Pi with HASIO without having to put a username and password. So we're just going to go yes and we're going to call that private key three. Now I'm going to show you a little trick with this. If we go into Notepad and we go file open and we go to that downloads folder ssh and we open the public three key uh, it does not put the key on one line so if you paste that in there um, it will not work you can't save it so don't do that don't uh, paste it into atom or into um, uh, notepad plus plus or any other notepad file for that matter what you're going to do is just copy it from here so in here control uh, actually pretty sure we can no we can't grab all of that control c so i've copied it from there just bring it in here and we start with a speech marks, paste that in, and we end in speech marks. And when you've done that, you'll see that the save lights up. Now, if you um, copy or save the public key and then open it in Notepad and then copy that and paste it, there's no way you'll be able to save it because it has carriage returns in there. So it all needs to be on one line like that. So it needs to look exactly like that, and then we save it. And then we start. And if I come down now and refresh the logs, it says that version has started. So in theory, we can try logging into it. Now to do that, we need to open up Putty and we are going to put in the address which is 1.233 and we're going to just call this HASIO and we're just going to save that for now except we need to go into SSH and we need to go into authorization and we need to browse for the private key that matches the public key data we just pasted here so we're going to come in here, and we're going to go to uh, Downloads SSH, and it's the three key. 
is the one we've got. Now there is something else that we need to adjust. And right, I'm back, and uh, yeah, so we've we've got the um, the private key in there now for that one, and then we need to go to connection here and data and the auto login username is root or hasio so now we need before we do anything else just go back to session now that we've added those and we're just going to save that and now i'm going to click open and cross my fingers and toes and yes we get a potential security breach update bang i'm logged in to hasio without a username and password using secure keys so um yeah that's how you do it let me exit out of that uh, this is the secret don't copy and paste from notepad plus plus or adam uh, just make sure that you're actually highlighting all the text in there copy paste it into here start with a um, speech marks at the beginning speech marks at the end save and then start and you're good to go thanks for watching